is uh, just tell me a little bit about your background, where you're from, family, all that. Okay. Uh, me, Isaiah Watts. I'm from Seattle, Washington, originally born in California. Um, I am the son of the Donald Watts and the grandson of Slick Watts. Uh, they would love to for me to shout them out, so I got to do that. Um, yeah, I just really was brought up around basketball all my life. Just that's really all I did. Did a little bit of track, baseball, but basketball is my, my my thing. Okay. Uh, any other athletes in the family? We have we have a big family, so that's tough. Um, there's pl plenty more, not as high a level as my like immediate family, but you know. There's more, for sure. Okay. Um, so kind of just, uh, you know, describe your game a little bit. What do you feel like are some of your strengths? Uh, my, some of my strengths, shot. I have a, like, I work countless years on just my shot. Um, I can handle the ball, pass, good court vision. And then, like, I'm really starting to get, like, defense down. Like, I can sit down and play D. If you want me to play 94 feet, I'll play 94 feet. What are some areas you're working on? My offhand. Um, my offhand's always been okay, but now it's just like getting it into my game a lot more. So, yeah. What about, what do you feel like are some underrated aspects of your game? I would say my rebounding. I mean, I jump pretty high, so I usually snag a lot of rebounds. Yeah. Okay. What do you, uh, you know, just kind of describe this the past few seasons for you. Like, how has it gone, and, and what are you eager to show coaches this year? Um, the past few seasons have not gone how I wanted them to, just based off of not being as mature. But just this year, I'm just ready to just go get it. Like, just developing a mentality, a just go a killer mentality. So, ready to show coaches my killer. Okay. Um, just talk a little bit about, uh, I know your dad is, you know, trains and trains players and that type of stuff. Um, just what are some things that he's kind of instilled in you over the years? Just that, like, basketball is not like a, a cute game. It's not something like, like cute people do, like swaggy people do. It's like, it's a hard-nosed grind game. And that's what, like, I really have gotten to realize over the years. Okay, uh, tapping into your recruitment a little bit, just yep. what's the latest? Uh, the latest, uh, Eastern Washington has offered me. Um, that's really like the big offer that I got. Uh, Point Loma, UW, that's really like, that's really it. But those are some big schools, so I'm excited to, I'm, I'm just excited to get out there so more. Sure. What is, uh, you know, what's the team getting in, in Isaiah Watts? Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Um, just a great personality, a leader. Um, just, yeah, a natural born leader with a great personality. I like to have fun, you know. I just be smiling all the time if you couldn't tell. So, yeah. What, uh, like, how do you see your role at the next level? Uh, I mean, definitely as a scorer and then defensively just being able to be that dog and just developing a dog in college because guys are a lot bigger than me and stronger than me and just I have to do certain things to find my way on the court. So yeah, developing that dog. Okay. Um, you feel like, um, I guess who are, who are some players that maybe you model your game after or enjoy watching? Uh, a lot of Steph Curry, uh, a lot of Allen Iverson, just the way he plays defense, just just the way he leads, honestly, because honestly, Philadelphia was not all that good, and he took them all the way to the finals. They only won a game, but you know, took them there. So yeah. um, let's see. Um, so kind of a fun one, but if you have one hashtag to describe yourself, what would that hashtag be? <laughs> uh, That's a good question. Uh, I don't know. Hashtag, I mean, I would just say hashtag have fun. Hashtag work hard. Those are my two hashtags. But you said one. So I'll say hashtag work hard. <laughs> yeah, and why is that? Uh, just because, like, most of my time, like, I miss out on a lot of, like, stuff that regular kids do, like dances and 
parties and stuff like that, I spend in the gym. So, I mean, just, it's that hard work. Like, that's all I really do is work hard. You feel like that's, uh, um, it's pretty tough sometimes, or do you kind of enjoy being in the gym? How would you describe it's, that? Uh, it's honestly, it's like really, like it's tough. Like you sit down and think, like you go to school and people are talking about, oh yeah, this and this happened. And you're like, dang, like you feel like you missed out. But then once that work like comes out on the court, it comes out wherever, whatever you do, like it feels so much better. You don't even think about what happened two weeks ago at the party, so. And what, uh, what motivates you to work hard? Uh, right now, really, my grandpa, like, he's, you know, played at a high level and stuff like that. Uh, he, you know, had some issues with his health. So he's at the house with us, and every time I see him, I just feel like I got to go work, 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 so I can, you know, pay him back for all the stuff that he gave me. Right. So. And um, to close, just kind of, you know, at the end of the day, what do you want to be remembered for on and off the court? Just being, like... A good person, like, I'm pretty good at being a good person, but there's some moments where I'm just like, you know, everybody has a down moment. I just want to be remembered as being like a good guy, like taking care of his family, taking care of other people that are around him. Yeah, it's just being a good guy.